That is the old sarcophagus that was built, finished on November 30th, 1986. We are going into one of the seven 16 story buildings. We are going to climb up to the top. For all the 16 story buildings, apartment buildings? Yeah. Okay. So they're all the same. Oh look, the mailboxes. This one has a nice red door. Crazy. Fancy. So this is a washing room? Kitchen. Kitchen? Alright. So this is what most of the apartments look like, I'm guessing. Some furniture, a kitchen. Balcony. Balcony with some Clothes hangers. If you were up here, you had a pretty good view. And it's a small room. Yep. Maybe for children. Probably a bedroom for children. It's a pretty good view, though. Yeah, you see no uh, wallpaper because it fell, fell. It fell down because of humidity. Yeah. Floor 16, finally. Oh my god, look at that view. Someone was taking a seat up here. Whew. Look at that. We're on one of the tallest buildings here. You can see everything from up here. In the distance, you can actually see the reactor. I've never seen an abandoned city like this, especially from above. This is, this is like a once in a lifetime view. I mean, it's one thing to see a city from above. It's another to see an abandoned one that's overgrown with trees covering it. So one thing that's interesting about Pripyat is that all these apartment buildings that are here, uh, they were just left with all the most valuable things, really, because the people here were told they were going to be back in three days. So when they evacuated, they only took the necessities. So that means they left a lot of their money here, jewelry, gold, and the uh, guards, they built a huge perimeter of barbed wire around this town. And then, you know, people tried to get back, there were people trying to loot it, but it actually in November, they were actually allowed back here to grab anything. They could take anything from their place that they wanted, and it was checked for radiation to make sure they didn't spread it. But they were actually allowed back here only once, and that was in November the same year. Originally the reason they cleaned up Pripyat so well 
was because they thought they were going to use it again since they put up the first two reactors and the third one was going to go up. So they thought they were going to be able to use this again. But after cleaning it for a couple times, they realized they couldn't get it into good living conditions. So they actually built a town farther out and there's a train that connects it from that town to the nuclear power plant over there. So this, this town is actually pretty clean, just not livable. Just for hooligans, you know, just for drug people, not just cri real criminals. Right. It was not a jail, it's not prison, it was not prison, it just... Just jail cells? Or, or jail cells well, might be, be, before judgment, you know. Right, holding cells. Yeah, holding cells, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at that cell. It looks like a hospital in there. Mm -hmm. These look like hospital colors. Yeah, exactly. Soviet tiles. Standard Soviet tiles. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are the heavy-duty cells. Yep. I've never seen one of these before. These are the thick doors. Wow. So this is what it's like in one of those. There's a toilet. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Fine, maybe. There's a car door in here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think it's place for ma mattress. Mattress up here? Yep. And you can see it's not very nice wall. No. Mm -hmm. It's not very soft. <laughs> it's like sharp and jagged. Yeah. It's actually more spacious than I thought. More space? Yeah, more space than I because, thought. Uh, it's not only for one, maybe like for four. Oh, okay. If it held four people, then I can see that. But this, this is uh, smaller. Maybe this is for one or for two. Oh, okay, yeah, this is more what I pictured. This is very small. I think this is for two. For two mattresses. Yeah, you see that? Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, two spots, mm -hmm. two mattresses. Wow. <laughs> Imagine you just have a bed right here mm -hmm. and you have this much space to walk around in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for two people <laughs> and then they have to use this toilet right here. Wow, that is tight. Area right here. I think this, this, uh, this area of uh, this uh, holding jail or... Oh, it's like an outside... Yeah, uh, outside. Maybe a wall. Outside think, courtyard? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, so I think it's like delivery. You know, they were brought here, so like a uh, truck or just a uh, police car came here through this gate, lock the gate, and they were moved off uh, uh, the police uh, car into there. No chance to run away, you know, from here. Oh yeah, because there's a metal cage on the top. Okay, so this is where the the people were brought in. Yes. That makes sense. These are thick doors too. Look at that. No chance to run away. Here are soda machines. Oh, this one has a cup in it still too. Old Soviet soda machines. nice windows yeah so uh, they are made of uh, many small different color pieces like this so. so it's like a mosaic like mosaic yeah like fun yeah a big job to do you see oh look at that each individual that's a lot of glass It's a cool piece of art though. Yep. So this is a theater called... Cinema. Pro Cinema. Cinema. Yeah. 
This was just a cinema. Now you can see mosaic. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. I wonder how long it took to get all those tiles up there. Light is not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough light, really. It's just enough, though. Just enough to show this movie theater. So you can see System 5.1, Dolby Surround. <laughs> Dolby Surround sound right there. Yeah, it's like, you know, Soviet IMAX. Soviet IMAX right there. Uh, it, it nice. Seats. Front row seats. Check out these old chairs. It's very damp in here. Very wet. Oh, it's a music hall. There's a grand piano down there too. So this is the view from the stage of the music hall. Someone put a chair on a speaker right there. How is it? <laughs> Tastes like metal. So if there's no people around, this will happen to a building. It'll collapse. Oh, look at those. Up there you can still see the classrooms. And right on the edge are some chairs. Right on the edge up there, there's some school chairs. There's a blackboard. It's like the room was just cut in half. So this is a little more dangerous school. This is school number one. So right now we have come down the road to what is a military anti-ballistics missile uh, base. And this is where the military would stay and they were actually watching America and all other countries to see if they would be launching missiles. So it was like a defense system. They had these huge antennas, which you're about to see, and it would let them know when a missile went off somewhere. So this building was uh, headquarter. Headquarter building. This was the headquarters? Okay. And that is a big antenna array right there. <laughs> 